let's hear from the audience, the man in the blue jacket. John, um, with regard to racism, I recently heard you supporting comments made by Liam Neeson. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering whether you still stand by this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because... So these were, should we just uh, remind people, these are comments by Liam Neeson who was promoting his film, and he was talking about an incident of a, a friend of his who had apparently been raped. She said she was raped by someone who was black, and he said that it made him feel that he wanted revenge, and he went out and, and, and for a week or so... Yeah. So first of all, you he, have to... just, he wanted to look for... Hope, was hoping someone black, anyone yeah. black, would pick a fight with him and that he would, he would kill so, them. So, so first of all, you have to listen to the context in terms of what he was and, and the nuanced conversation that took place. He was talking about the act of revenge. So let's get the idea of, of a race out of it just to begin with. He's talking about, his film is about revenge. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the act of revenge and how it can eat you up. How it's all-encompassing and, <clears throat> and how it's a terrible feeling. So he started talking about Northern Ireland. He started talking about the problems that they had when he was growing up in Ireland. He then veered away from that to talk about an incident of revenge that affected him. Now, as he said, it happened to have been a black person. So therefore, the, 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 the feeling of revenge he felt was against any black person. Now, as he said, and I believe him, had it been a Lithuanian, had it been a Frenchman, it would have been against any Frenchman. It happened to be black. So, after one week, or how many other days of going around, he then felt horrified and ashamed of the way it actually made him feel. So then he sought help, and then he obviously... So, the whole idea that he's racist because he's, he wanted to kill black people per se, and I'll tell you what he didn't mention, which is very important, is... If you look at an, a, an Irish friend of mine explained it to me, when you are been brought up in Northern Ireland and we can see the problems that may, through Brexit, may or may not happen, and he's aware of that, when something happens in, to a member of your religion, if you're a Catholic, then your vitriol, your hatred is to any Protestant or any Catholic if it happens to a Protestant, not the particular one who actually implemented the, the hurt on that person. So that is why I'm talking about the feeling that he actually had is a feeling of revenge, and he had feelings of remorse. He had those feelings for one week. Now, why I have to give him credit is because, as much as we all want to say we view people as equal, we don't, and we have to admit it, because we are influenced by our environment, and the environment he came from, albeit from a Catholic and Protestant point of view, is whoever the enemy is, we have to kill the enemy. The enemy at that particular time happened to be black, but it equally could have been English, and he would have wanted to kill any Englishman. So. But those holier than thou who says how terrible it is, it's a disgrace. What is the truth about the way we all feel about people of different races, different religions? We all discriminate. And we have to admit it. And not only do we admit it, why I'm happy to say that I, am an un I discriminate unconsciously is because the environment I've been brought up in that shows me that. And it continues to show me that. You read the newspapers every day and you hear about Muslim terrorists and, and Nigerian um, gangs. And that gives you a negative impression, not just of terrorists and of con men or gangs, but also Nigerians and Muslims. And this is the influence that society has on us. So we can't help the way we've been brought up. And unless we are going to be able to have the conversation, rather than as soon as we mention anything, say, you're racist, you discriminate, but we don't. But that's not the reality. Because if I was to ask you now, if you had a choice of to who you had to live next to, between a, a, I don't know where you're from, um, between a, a, anybody, a Muslim and a white, you would have an opinion based on the, the way you've been brought up. Mm -hmm. But we won't admit it because we're afraid of being called racist. So no. that is why I agree with you.